Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only. Coming to you with another episode of New Vegas. All right, when we left off, we were plotting out a way to deal with the wealth of Sierra Madre's vault, and turns out I kind of can't. There's no way around me having to carry all of this with me, really, at all. Uh, the only real thing I can do is deal with the weight that I already have. Which I can easily do with these. Just getting rid of these. Real quick. Um, these I kind of don't need at all. Um, yeah, everything else will probably have to be dropped. Because these are very, very, very important. So, here goes the fun part of dropping everything that has weight that I don't need. Which is almost everything. I need. Let's pop that so we're actually good on strength for the time being. Drop all the wine. Everything else. I'm gonna have to drop those two. There we go. Keep at least. Nah, probably don't need that many. Um, sugar bombs. I might as well pop one for the road, but drop the rest. Uh, stealth boys. I'll need one for sure. Maybe two, but that's it. Scotch I don't need. Uh, purified water. That's a lot of it. Pop one for the road and drop the rest. Well, not all the rest. About three should be fine once I get out of here. Um, what do I have for science? Um, 67. That's also due to a dip in intellect from Mentat's withdrawal, so let's pop the fixer, which I do think I still have, I do, there we go, so, almost all my addictions are already removed, which is good, um, I'm thinking anyway, alcohol does pop down the intellect still a bit, so, no way to get around that, but I'll still pop the Nikola Tesla, because it's under 100, once I get to it, there it is, there we go, perfect. That's energy weapons. What? Ah, oh, fuck. I'm stupid. <laughs> okay, well. At least now I know. I still have a bunch of Mentats, and those don't weigh much, if anything, which is good. Uh, Medex, good. What do we got that's elsewise needed? I'll pop one of these and drop the rest. Well, I mean, not all the rest, but most of them. These have no weight. These have weight. I spent a lot of time collecting these. I don't want to drop them. Uh, these I will drop. These I spent a lot of time collecting. I don't want to drop those. Uh, auto inject. Those are like a tenth of a pound each. I'll, I'll carry these in case it does evolve into a brawl. Uh, the absinthe I'll drop. Alright, now apparel. Oh boy. Um, I want to keep these to give to uh, Cass later. Or at least most of them. Uh, at least not the helmets, though. Probably not the helmets. Uh, drop this one. Some, all the glasses have no weight. I want to keep these want to keep those. Uh, these have weight, but not a lot. wonder if there's anything I can repair. Nope, nothing. Okay. A dead money jumpsuit. I could repair this with that. Uh, where is it? Wait, right down there. There we go. Uh, I'm keeping Dean's tuxedo. I earned that. Uh, everything else I'm going to drop. There we go. Well, everything else that has weight, anyway. Uh pre-war hat. I'll keep that. I'll keep that for the time being. Uh, drop everything else. There we go. And we're good on that. Weapons. Oh boy, this is gonna be the painful part. Uh, the police pistols are good, but they're not good enough to replace the weapons I have in the Sierra Madre. Well, my, at least my good equipment. So I'm gonna have to drop these not good enough. Uh, knife, spear, 
I'm not gonna need this anymore, so I'll drop those and this. Uh, cosmic knife superheated. I might keep that around. I might keep that around for a little bit. Uh, caravan shotgun. That has a lot of value, but not as much as the fucking gold bar, so I'm gonna drop that. That has no weight, so I'm not gonna drop it. This one has a lot of value, but also a lot of weight. And it almost rivals that of the gold bar, so I might keep this. So anything else I can drop, anything at all. Uh, Braxo Cleaner, I have a fuck ton of those. I wish I could keep them. Honestly, I don't see any need for them for the time being, so I'm gonna drop these. Uh, it's painful now. Uh, geez. There's this thing that I have no need for anymore. And I, I never had need for it in the first place. Uh, duct tape. Uh, I'm not gonna drop that. I need that. That I don't need, obviously. Empty syringe. I could always use those. Forceps. I think I need those for doctor's bags. I'll keep those. I'll drop one of these. I don't need them. Jeez, that already makes up 105. Oh, man. I didn't need to see the math on it. Uh, I'll, I'll keep the lead. Uh, medical brace, I'll keep those. Uh, okay, those are good. I'll keep those. I'll keep that, no problem. Uh, God, so mighty. Uh, some of this I don't want to get rid of. I, I could really use them back home. Sergeant Teddy. Uh, I don't need that, but it's, it's funny to have. jeez. <laughs> uh, Surgical tubing, I'll keep those. Tin cans, I do not need that many. Uh, drop at least most of them. Turpentine, I could use them later. Uh, Wonder glue. Uh, I want to keep those. All right. Uh, ammo. I'm not going to keep what I don't need. Jeez, I'm going to drop those. I don't have anything for them. I will not need these either. These ones I can break down, so I'll keep them. Uh, I'll keep the other rounds, or at least the majority of them, in case it devolves into a brawl. But I don't see needing over 200 of them. Uh, that hurts. Believe me, that hurts. Oh, jeez. All of that. All of that. Into a pile like that. Good God. Alright. Uh, what do I got, weight-wise? Uh, one more. Yeah, 365. That'll do. That'll do. Uh, I hate it, but that'll do. How many do I have total of the gold bars? Um, uh, how many? How many? I'll, I'll probably have a oh, hell of a time trying to sell them off. I got six. I got six of them. I kind of want to try for seven, but I also don't. <laughs> uh, okay. We'll call that good. We'll call that good. I'm going to get my water over here because it's still hot as fuck out here, so give me just a moment. There we go. Alright. Now we have to go through here to the vault control panel. Security enabled, terminal locked. Vault security enabled. What does that mean? What the... How am I supposed to turn it off? Through here. Disengage vault security protocols. There we go. That's how I'm supposed to do it. Whoa. I have no idea what caused that. Um, oh, that was a fixer. That was what it was. Okay. Fair enough. That was weird, but alright. Vera Keys. Hollow disk extracted. That's what we found earlier, that hollow disk. Uh, the one that seems to suggest that he had a change of heart, pulled it, and tried to run with it. But considering where his body ended up, I'm going to assume he got trapped down here and he died.
before he could change his entire plan for the vault. I guess. It's hard to tell. So, Vera... Uh, Vera Keys is already red. So, Vera is the next one. To Vera. Vera, if you're reading this, my fears have come to pass, and this is an apology. So this is the replacement for the hollow disk he just pulled out. I hope you realized what my last words meant to you. If so, they have led you here, and this place will keep you safe. So he changed his mind, and instead of it becoming a trap, it became... a haven? A bunker? Is that what, is that what he was planning next? If so, they have led you here, and this place will keep you safe. I know what they meant for me, and I fear they have trapped me here. I have extracted the previous entry after our conversation tonight. Oh, so it was right before the bombs fell. It can't have been easy for you, and I am sorry for all that I've put you through in silence. I know while you do not love me, you did not mean any malice in what you did. That means Vera fessed up. She broke the plan before it even started. She set up Dean, and now Dean's dead. Okay. I knew about your plans to rob the casino with Dean before you told me. Hearing it from you didn't make it any easier. For what it's worth, I'm glad you told me yourself. I understood the tapes he had in his possession. So, she also fessed up that she was being blackmailed. And that was the only way she could get out of it. I do not think either of you realize what your addiction stemmed from, however. And that is the tragedy in this. I suspect the world would not have believed you regardless, so I respect your desire to keep it from others. So, she fessed up everything. Jeez. When first building this villa, this casino, I meant it for you. As the world seemed to race headlong toward war, it became part of my desire to protect you. The loans, the funding I poured into the casino's construction. You had to take out loans to make this? It wasn't all his fortune? Wow, Dean definitely misread his worth, that's for sure. I knew it would not matter when war came for us. It was my means of creating a shelter, a defense, if the world was bombarded in radiation and bombs. Which, it did. When Dean revealed his plans inadvertently through our introduction, I realized what had happened, and how I had been tricked. For a time, my thoughts were dark. I changed the casino vault from a shelter to a trap, as I knew the first one to enter would be Dean. He would die down here, and it would have been by his own hand. Fair enough. I fear, however, that I overstepped myself, and the only safe place in the casino is the vault. I have tried to rewire the systems, change the protocols, and I cannot. I will do one last check on the pipes by the edge of the outside platform and see if anything can be done. I fear it is useless. And that's where he died, doing that. Because the bombs fell and killed him and he wasn't able to try and fix what he already did. So there is legitimately no way around it. He did it too good. All right. If you come down here, do not access my personal account entry. It contains only a message for Dean, and it will seal the door and you will have no way out. Even the elevator is designed to automatically return when the door is closed, and it will lock in place. Fair enough, and that is a thing that we will not be looking into, because for that reason, and I know it'll give a premature end, and I will die. <laughs> so we're not going to do that. There should be enough in the vault to sustain you, sustain you until help arrives. I've ensured that there is enough medical supplies down here to keep you comfortable. So that explains why there was all those medical stuff over there. The hologram should defend the casino from any attackers, and the hologram beacon in the villa will broadcast an emergency signal so that others know you are here. But it ended up being the introduction for the villa, 
not the emergency broadcast. When danger is passed, rescue will come. No, it didn't. I hope you were able to read this and know that I loved you, Frederick Sinclair. Sinclair's personal accounts. That's meant for Dean, and if I read it, I will die. I will, however, make a clip of it. Eventually. But right now, we're not going to do it. All right. Now that I'm out of here. You. You're in the vault. Finally. Yeah. After all this time. The Sierra Madre. Mine. Not really. Don't move. Don't go into the vault. And don't touch anything else. There may be more traps down there. Another security system. I'm already in the vault, buddy. Still hiding behind images and screens, I see. Hiding? Hardly. Trapped. Really? You think you were the first one to unlock the casino door? No, I didn't. With other hands, other bodies. After that, the casino wouldn't let go. Once I was locked in, no way out. Until your pit boy signal came to life in the villa. Then, then, uh, things changed. And here you are. You got a lot to answer for. Do I? For what? Your greed? Curiosity? You came here on your own. No one held a gun to your head. I've well, seen your pit boy archives, halfway. your map markers and notes. You picked up the Sierra Madre signal just as I did. You couldn't resist. Well, fuck. So if you feel I have a lot to answer for, no. The blame isn't on my shoulders. Might as well have put the collar on yourself. Well, not here, but outside of here, you definitely have a lot to answer for. That's why Christine is here. So, you still do need to answer for a lot of shit. Just FYI, in case you forgot. But, uh, before this goes any farther, I had questions. Curious? You must be. Kinda. We have time now that you've done your work. Mm. And our interactions have been too one-sided, even for my tastes. Really? All right, then. What do you want from the Sierra Madre? What do I want? Weapons. Security. A citadel of my own. Really? The Madre is all these things. It's a fortress. A weapon. A chance to begin again. Well, you're not wrong. Once I unlock its archives, I can carve the Mojave into any shape I choose. I don't understand how an old world casino helps you do any of that. I do, but my character don't yet. The cloud is unique in my travels. Its proximity to the Sierra Madre isn't a coincidence. Right now it protects this casino, preserves it. It can be used to preserve other old world relics and cleanse them at the same time. And as much as I've researched hologram technology, the big empty facility was clear. Only the Sierra Madre got holograms working properly. Properly? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Working as murderous death traps, sure. Yeah. The holograms here kill trespassers. That's what I want. Dump one of those emitters in the middle of any battle, there's no defense. Except destroy the emitter. It's like holding light in your hands. Can't fight it. Only watch it burn. Just one is a portable army. Arm it. Anyone stands against you, dies. If you secure that, that's all you want? That in the cloud? No. There's one last thing I want from the Sierra Madre. It's bounty. The machines that fill its streets, its corridors. They provide, provide almost anything. Perhaps in the pre-war era, they were commonplace. Things to dismiss. Now they are far more valuable. You know it. They helped keep you alive. Kinda, yeah. I can't argue that. What would you use them for? Sources of food, supplies, medical assistance, ammo, make more callers, even print currency. Make a nation. Uh, the cloud allows okay. me to wipe the slate clean. Callers ensure cooperation. Holograms, defense. The vending machines provide everything else. The Sierra Madre can kill nations and build them using its technology with the right applications. That can be said of literally anything. Real world and not. 
You're nothing more than a killer that aspires to mass murder. Well, <laughs> that's not wrong. So I'm going to choose that one. You think I'm a murderer? If I was, I'd have set off your collar long ago. The collar ensures compliance, encourages cooperation. Think about it. Would you truly have gotten into the casino without those callers? No. Human nature is against us, always. Did you know that I had to keep adjusting the collars? Keep changing the rules to make this moment possible? What are you talking about? Every time, even with callers clutched at their necks, they would betray each other, kill each other to get inside the Sierra Madre. It... It was insanity. They could have had it all. It was so close. And... And they kept turning on each other, again and again. Cracking the Sierra Madre was difficult, but cracking greed, that was more difficult. So the dead man switches when in. So you answered madness with madness. When your life is tied to another's, sacrifice and cooperation, they can be conditioned, learned, and you can focus on the matter at hand. Greed can be beaten. Contained. Controlled. You know it better than anyone. Or I hope you do. It doesn't matter. So how did you get me here again? Everyone asks that. Should be asking how they plan on leaving. Huh. It only takes putting a collar on one to begin the chain. One with a collar may chain another. And that one another had traps all over the wastes. The chain ends with the super mutant. Although with him, the collar wasn't even necessary. He only needed guidance. So someone else with a collar placed one on me. Who? I'm assuming Dog. The mutant. <laughs> he swallowed one of the collars. After that, he was mine. The collar wasn't even necessary. All his kind, they exist to be given orders. They're soldiers. Simple. Stupid. I asked him to fetch, and he did, even without the threat of death. Even when I stopped speaking to him, he continued to leave the villa, gather victims from the man traps out of habit. He must have found you in one of them. If so, he's probably forgotten. He only remembers my voice. He put the call on you, anymore. dragged you here, because he doesn't know any better. It's in his nature, greedy and childlike. Dog, sure, but now that I've healed him, he's no longer that. He actually seems to have a mind of his own now. So, there's that. Good silver lining there. Uh, if Dog put a collar on me, why didn't he say so? I already know that, because he didn't know. Do you know how to get out of here? Of course. I walked all this way. If you're worried, I'll give you a map back, or show you the way out when this is all over. What happened to my gear? It lies in the bunker. Or whatever man trap caught you. It's the Sierra Madre. Its security systems strip guests to their garments. Hmm. It has prejudices against outside material, contraband, almost anything with a radiation signature. Gotcha. The new Vegas casinos do the same thing. Manually. Although preventing bloodshed, not radiation poisoning, is their main concern. Fair enough. So the casino stripped me of my gear. The villa did, as an extension of the casino, yes. They then sent it back to the owner's residence. Here, begin again, is more than a slogan. Gotcha. There's something else that I wanted to know. Ask. You still have time. Um... That was weird. That, I'm... I'm pretty sure that audio file was supposed to have the uh, filter over it, but they failed to do it for that one, I think. How did you find out about this here, Madre? It started with a setback. Fires, blood, beneath the sun. A sun so close you could touch it. Moments like that, however, failures, can provide the brightest clarity. What happened next? After that... I wandered, alone, saw the storms of the Divide, walked among the ciphers of the West, traveled to the Big Empty, 
I heard the signal. The woman's voice, the Sierra Madre, promising a chance to begin again, reverse my fortunes. All nonsense. Well, yeah. I tracked the signal, came here, scouted the city, using other hands, kept dying on me, killing each other. You... My phone's ran, weirdly. You got the farthest of all. I got the farthest, huh? Okay. Where did you get the collars? I assume the big empty. The collars? They're pre-war tech. I suspect this great land had compliance issues before the war. Well, yeah. It's one of a series of models. The one in your neck? Special. Easier to make adjustments. Unreliable in other ways. Notably radio interference. Yeah. If they're pre-war tech, where did you get them? place far from here called the Big Empty. Almost didn't make it out. Yeah. There were two yeah. others there. A woman. And a man. A courier. The woman was familiar. The other? I don't know what happened to him. I do. I've never heard of the place you're talking about. Now that's incorrect because of the way I did the DLC. Technically, this was supposed to be before the Big Empty. The Old World Blues. But... I did a little goofy thing like that. <laughs> now that I'm here, are you coming down? No. I'm not going to take the chance while I'm so close. Not this close. No. Not again. I can wait. Afford to be careful. You? Hmm. You're locked down there. This is the only entrance. And I have free reign of the Sierra Madre. I have time. More than you. Besides, well, there might be more traps. I'll send more scouts in. Yes, others. You're resourceful. Don't want to leave anything more to chance. So you're fucking with me. Okay. Well, two can play that game. I'll find a way to unlock the secrets of this vault, take them for myself. You've gotten far. Any farther, try to breach the vault. You become a corpse. What's inside is mine. Anyone else touches it, tries to take it from me, they'll answer for it. Well, I've already grabbed a fuck ton of stuff already. I've already managed to unlock the elevator and get down here before you. You better hurry. This casino is in some caravan safe, and the lock that secures the Sierra Madre vault doesn't hold all its secrets. So there is a lock. Good. Wasn't sure until you said so. Find a way inside? You can try. The Sierra Madre is a patient thing, and it has outlasted many who've come to its doors. The punishment often equals a reward for those without the foresight to see what's in store. I'll let you test the security. See how you stand up. You know the Sierra Madre is a huge combination lock. Me? I've almost cracked it. I've had enough, enough of others stealing from me. Well, I'm doing pretty good I'm at coming it. down. Forget the Sierra Madre security. I'll find you myself. Try to break into the vault, I'll set off the collar. Fair enough. And at this point, I can open the vault door. Shut it. And... Oop, gotta crouch. There we go. And where is this? There they are. Uh, stop. All right. Head outwards. Head towards this way. And head out the door this way. And from here, it's a long run towards the entrance. Uh oh. Well, I woke that guy up. Uh. got detected by that guy. At this point, I just gotta run. Because there's nothing else I can do. Oh, geez. Okay, there we go. I didn't realize I'd have this much time. Honestly. Yeah. I'm starting to think. What's this? Alarms. What? You think so. you can run? Yeah. This entire structure is mine to command. Security. Weapons. All. 
You think you've outsmarted me? Yeah. You. You're the one with the brush. So at this point, I can already open the maintenance door. And now he's stuck in there. And he's down there. At this point, now I have to open this door. And he's not doing anything. He's just standing there. Weird. Alright, well. Now I can get out. Jeez. So many other doors I can pass through. Oh, there's one of these right here. Didn't realize I set them there. Nice! Oh, shit. <laughs> I just realized something. And I'm a doofus for only just realizing it now. I could have set all my stuff, all my stuff, before I had to drop it already, I could have set it right in there. Ow, I'm an idiot. Ow, I'm a fucking stupid. But I managed to make it in a fell swoop without having to deal with explosions, which would have been harder if I was overburdened. But then again, I did expect a little bit more resistance. A little bit more. But... That worked out in my favor, so I'm going to call it good. <laughs> this episode ran a little longer than I expected, but it worked out beautifully in my mind. So, I'm going to end the episode here for right now. I might try it again on my own, see if I can get it a little bit better, and if so, I'll show you the results of that. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and the only Stray Cat playing games. And finding out it was actually easier than I thought for you.